meticulously executed start to a game. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to World's Best Clip of the Week. I'm your host, Stone Mountain, and from last week's Rainbow Six Siege episode, very highly contested, and the polls almost swung a different way, but the hotel clip edging it out. Of course, none other than Lord Chaka. Every Monday in this show, I feature 10 of the world's best clips for you, the audience, to vote a winner in the comment section below. The voting will also enter you into my weekly giveaway this week for Battlefield 1 or Premium. And this week, we're also taking a look at some Battlefield 1 top plays with incredible multi-kills and feats. Keep sending those clips in. And for Battlegrounds as well, I'm going to be starting up a series on that. I think I have enough clips together. Without further ado, though, let's jump into this one. Starting us out with Ankle using another fan favorite, the Martini. Even under suppressive fire and getting hit, connects for the kills in this final one through the fog. Lost visual on the target, but still read the situation. Coming in for the India spot, Cronathan crash lands, but it almost looks like it was part of his plan the whole time. Continues on to even get a couple kills with his gun, but the knifing flank staying off the radar executed flawlessly. Coming in for the hotel clip, I still don't quite understand how this is possible. Bringing it into slow-mo replay, this is an AT rocket triple collateral. You can tell by the AT rocket showing up for all the kills. And even off this first one, it just grazes him on the side, only does 43 damage, which is somehow how it continues on its path. And it looks like another player was potentially just jumping out of the window with another one right behind them, giving him the double kill way back there. But it's too hard to tell exactly because of that glare, an incredible shot. Coming in for the golf clip, though, is one of the most satisfying clips we've ever seen. the corner to the backs of over 10 enemies and with only one grenade creates this masterpiece. As Alex shows though, you don't always need to see your targets with your own eyes. We have taken objective Duff. We have lost them. Although it does clearly help for the cleanup. Coming in for the Echo Clip is an unstoppable force that can carry his team to a victory.
one final plungent for good measure, and through a wall, nonetheless, to get the W. But I will give you, there was a lot of running in that clip, there was a lot of effort. Why not take it a little more easy and set a trap? This guy has mastered aim assist. We are losing objective Charlie. We control. Regardless of what you think of aim assist, Rinka pulls off an amazing 15 man feed in seconds, managing reload, getting favorable positioning, and somehow. Not losing it, coming around the corner on three enemies facing him. All of whom could have aim assisted his ass right back, but he outplays him. Oh wait, that was a shotgun? What a freaking new. Coming in for the Bravo clip. Schultz spawns into the airship trying to help bring his team back. When he gets killed from on top of it? Oh, not today, my friend. Something strange on top. Ah! And what do you say we end this thing with a bang? Coming in for the Alpha Club. This gangster's rocking dynamite. And that's almost a 5,000 point shade. Vote in the comments on which clip you thought was the best. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. And of course, subscribe to catch all of the latest and greatest. I had a fantastic week off last week. I hope you guys saw some of my content on my second channel going up. Tons more videos coming your way now, though, so stay tuned. This is Stellmount64, over and out.